Hey everybody, we're back now. What's so, up? Today we are going to be making an apple pastry recipe compliments of my grandmother. All right guys, do not judge me because my ensemble does not match. I have on my leopard printed scarf. Hey all you cool cats and kittens. And compliments of the uh, bathrobe came from um, JC Pigs. Hi, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> How you doing now? What did you say we're making? We are making uh, an apple, let's just say, hey, an apple, uh, a fried apple egg roll. How about that? Ooh, I can't wait. Oh, that's what we're doing. I got my cutting board out, you guys. I just want to tell you, I do not like cutting boards, okay? I don't know how many cutting boards we have here, but let's give them a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got ten cutting boards, okay? I don't like cutting boards. My husband comes home, he's gonna cut some bread, he uses one cutting board for the bread. He gets another cutting board for the cheese. He gets another cutting board to cut the pineapple. So me, I'll just use one cutting board. After I use the cutting board to cut the pineapple, I'll go ahead and wash it up. He won't wash it up. He will just come and say, okay, I need another cutting board, I need another cutting board. But who's the one doing the dishes? I'm the one doing the dishes. So guys, I do not like cutting boards, but I'm gonna use a cutting board this time for y'all. And I just want to tell you guys that if you saw her count all 10 cutting boards, I guarantee you she's got about 10 more in the cabinet <laughs> somewhere. Because when he gets ready to start cooking, he probably uses about 15 cutting boards. And that is no exaggeration. But he's a good cook. He gets the job done. Um, well, yeah, he actually is a really good cook, you guys. Excuse me. I think I'm going to go ahead and get me an apple. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do everything by hand. No worries. Oh, do you have an apple core? One that you just say and push it down? Yeah, but I wanted the pieces to be really small. So. Okay. No worries. This is about as small as they're gonna get today. And it just apple. This recipe calls for about two apples. It's gonna be well, well, yeah, two apples today, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 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 and don't judge me, you guys. I already pre-washed my apples. There you go. Oh, okay. All that the apples good. over there in our fruit bin That's slash good. snack bin are have already been pre-washed, guys. That's good. Now, what else goes in this recipe besides apples? Any brown sugar? Uh, yeah, you can honey? put brown sugar. You can use white sugar. All depends on your, your taste buds, your taste. So I just use some apples. I use brown sugar. And white sugar just depends on what I feel like doing that day and you put in some lime juice and you put in some flour I don't have no exact measurements everybody I just measure my eyes by looking once you get it all mixed up and wrapped up how long are you going to fry it? Mm, you fry it until it's golden brown mm. sounds absolutely delicious and I can't wait to be your taste tester taste tester okay yeah, I want some I mean, what's the point in all the cooking if you don't get to eat it? And you guys, it's early in the morning again. Yeah. Let's go ahead and check out our time, guys. Our time is 5.54 in the morning. We are early birds, guys. We're early birds, but we're here, and we're also going to go out and check out a few movies. I don't know what we're going to watch. We watched Venom the last time, although she didn't want to watch it. What are we watching today? Uh... How about some old Duck Dynasty? Duck Dynasty? <laughs> That's a laugh for you guys. Okay. I well, do like maybe. the Duck Dynasty show, though. I do. Maybe. Maybe Duck Dynasty. How about some Bond? How about we go to jump, do James Bond and watch all of them from Sean Connery right on up to the new guy? Is that Daniel that? Craig. Yeah, Daniel Craig. Why don't we start out with Sean Connery, Bond, James Bond? Okay. We can do that. Okay. I love that because I love all those bomb movies. You guys know that every time you see us, for the most part, we are in the kitchen. That's because we like to meal prep, okay? Because we have some hectic, chaotic lives. We get up at like 3 o'clock in the morning and we go, 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 go till about 11 o'clock at night, okay? So anytime we can meal prep, like to do that, guys. Oh, yeah. And then when you meal prep, it just makes life easier. You're not saying, hey, what's my dinner plan? What's my lunch plan? What's my plan? So if you meal prep, Come home after you have a day, you go throw it in the crock pot, throw it in the oven, grab it out of the freezer, from the freezer to the stove to the table. That's what we like. Indeed, guys. I really like that. Speaking of crock pot, I have the crock pot liner in the refrigerator. We're going to go ahead and take that out and we're going to go ahead and drop it in the bin. That's right. And cook it six hours, low and slow, guys. Low and slow. 
And this is just flour here in this container, guys. Flour. How many you put in? A couple of spoons? I, like I said, I measure by eyes. Uh, uh, say a couple of teaspoons, maybe. Yeah, a couple, couple of couple teaspoons, you guys. Now we're going to go ahead and add some lime juice, you guys. I love lime juice. You guys will not be able to see me temporarily while I'm searching for my lime. Speaking of lime juice, what do you have in other drink? I'm like really thirsty. I'm really thirsty. So you could grab out, I don't know, I'm going to get a cup. You can grab out apple juice, lime juice, anything you like, but I, not lime juice. <laughs> we won't be drinking Throwing away that. a cucumber, guys? <laughs> we won't be drinking that. Give me something to drink. I don't care what it is. Anything. Because I'm like really feeling dry here. What you looking for, your lime juice? Yeah, I found it now. Now I got all this stuff jammed in here. So I'm trying to close it up. Here, everybody. Got my lime juice. Oh yeah, you have to own drink out for the <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, I'm still waiting for my drink. I, I thought you were gonna let's see what we got. Okay, we'll do what what's in this picture? Is this tea or something? What's this? Oh yeah, that's tea. Why don't you go ahead and try that tea? <laughs> uh, that just by your delivery will go try the tea. I think I'll pass on that. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's apple cider. Oh, I don't that. That's an apple cider natural vinegar drink, y'all. I think there's I apple juice that. right there, and it's cram It's right in front of you. I don't see. Drink some prune juice, so you can get moving. your stuff moving. I don't want nothing moving. Everything I got is moving fine. Okay. Do you poop right now? Everything's moving fine. Every How many times a day do you poop? First of all, we're not gonna talk about excrement. Okay. That that we're not gonna talk about excrement. We're just not gonna do. It. But I'm asking you, do you poop it, regularly? That, you know what? That's very private and personal. Do you poop regularly? Yes, I we do. We can discuss your regularity. Uh, okay, I don't habits. have a problem. <laughs> I don't have a problem. <laughs> you said yes. Oh, I poop well. regularly and okay. frequently. Okay, I don't thanks. have to get on the toilet and start spraying like, eh, okay, thanks. Bearing thank down all hard. Get some on the toilet and bear down like they're having a baby. Come on. Well, you could. Food. It depends on your diet, too. Oh, like, yeah, you know, my daughter likes a lot of cheese. So when she can't have her bowel movement, who does she call? She calls me, okay? I'll be on the phone with her trying to help her. Okay, tell her to cut out some of the cheese. Add more fiber to the diet. Mm -hmm. Vegetables, prunes. You guys, this is just some spring roll wrappers. So yeah, I mean, that's why I'm asking because you know, I care. So I need to know, uh, do you poop regularly? I don't need help in that department, okay? You don't now, need help in that department? Where did you buy your spring roll wrappers at? Cause that's not something I always see at the grocery store. Um, well, uh, you get it in the frozen section, and I got my stuff from uh, the 99 Ranch Market. Okay. Did you have a hard time finding it? Um, I guess you could say yes and no. I was in the refrigerated section. However, I was in the wrong refrigerated section. So, mm. Mm. so it all in all, it took me about 10 minutes to actually locate it. Cause this is the it was a different 99 ranch market the one that um this they got they brought up a new one so i wasn't familiar with the uh outlay of the store so it took me about 10 minutes to go ahead and locate it okay. but they're really inexpensive they were only a dollar 89 and i think there's 25 sheets in here okay because that's not something sometimes that people always cook with so you know when you get an ingredient it might be a little unusual you know it always helps to know where to look for it the so one thing I don't like is plodding all through the grocery store looking for something for 20, 30 minutes. I like to just go straight to And that way you have an idea. Exactly. So since I couldn't pull them out readily, let's see here. It looks like we might have a bit of a problem, guys. Are they frozen? Are they still they No, they're not frozen. You're supposed to take them out an hour before you, so. And I did do that. Okay, guys, let's hope that this does not crack. If it cracks, can you put a little bit of water on it or something to kind of mend it up? Does that help? You could. I prefer not to. Hey, guys. Okay. Oh, you know what? Don't even have the pan out or the oil out. Hold on, guys. Let me get the pan and the oil out. Do you need anything? egg wash or anything to seal it or you just seal it with water? I seal mine with water but okay. you can use egg wash if okay. you'd like. Okay. I like to do the easy cooking guys. Yeah. The, e the egg wash is easy. I mean the water is easier than the egg wash because you don't have to mix it. You just get the water and put it on there and seal it. How high do you want your grease? Real hot? 
Um, yeah, well, yeah, you, you, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna go ahead and let that heat up, guys. Mm, that apple juice is good. And we're just going to go ahead and plop a few on here. Y'all don't be judging me because I ain't going to roll it probably the way y'all going to want me to roll it, okay? Mm -hmm. It ain't going to be like no professional egg roll now. You just want to roll it so that it closes and stays closed and, mm, and it's yummy to eat. That's the most important thing. I should have cut my pieces a little bit smaller, guys, but hey, don't judge. Well, looks like you're doing a good job of rolling it. You know what you're doing. Okay, guys, don't, 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 don't judge me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you guys don't want no egg roll that look. Oh, I didn't even seal the top, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, the water works really well. We're going to go ahead and seal it up. Can you sprinkle it with brown sugar? You can sprinkle it with brown sugar after it after comes, it comes out, out as a uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or or uh, confectionery sugar, powdered sugar. Powdered sugar, yes, we have all that. And as soon as they come out the thing, we'll go ahead and dust it with that. So you guys, it don't look all pretty like my grandmother's, but oh, could you tell me what happened? Did you see the presidential debate? Did you see any of that? Did you get a chance? Oh, yeah, 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 I did. But we'll have to talk about that one a little bit later, honey. Okay. I, I'm, mm -mm. You see, not right now. Girl, that I, is, that's I, have, too early. I only heard a little bit of it. I didn't hear all of it. I don't think I watched it. But it seems like it has really been creating some noise all over social media. Okay? So, yeah. This doesn't look like your traditional April, guys. But, hey, I, mean, I don't claim okay. to be a professional. I mean, it's okay. It's, it's looking close enough to an egg roll, don't you think? Yeah, it is. Maybe not so much, guys, but there you go. That <laughs> don't look like the first one, guys. <laughs> it's just a little bit shorter. Okay, that, that is just a That's already shorter. sealed, it's so. a little shorter than other. It's okay, just leave it. Just leave it. Ain't no need trying to take it apart. Just leave it like that. As long as it fries up, it'll be fine. I mean, it's not going to stop it from cooking. You sure I ain't gonna do that, okay? Then they gonna stop us from cooking. Oh wow, and it looks like one apple goes a long way here. No, you already we got one apple or two. Oh, I guess maybe we, we did, did one. One apple, yeah. Looks like one apple goes a long way. Cause it looks like you can still make two more. So it looks like one apple will make at least four. And if I had to cut it up a little bit smaller, it would go further, I suppose, you guys. Yeah, it would go further. <clears throat> okay, I, I have a question for you. What? Would you tell me why dogs are more loyal than men? Dogs are more loyal than men? Let me specify. Some men. Well, dogs are more loyal. Dogs don't demand anything. Dogs want you to just love them. A dog is never not pleased when you come home. A dog never asks, why didn't you put water in the bowl? They're loyal and they just want your companionship and they want your approval. And furthermore, dogs get that approval without judging. Now you talking about don't judge, a dog doesn't judge. No, no, the dog loves you. The dog loves you, the dog trusts you, and the dog is loyal. Most dogs are completely loyal, okay? And they just want affection. They want affection, they want praise, and when you give them that affection and that praise, that's all they're looking for. And then dogs, the relationship with the man and a dog is, is not as complicated as a human relationship. Human relationships require a whole lot more, a whole lot more. You feed your dog, you walk him, you love him, you praise him, you train him. That's what he lives for. My dog is never once, I come in the house and say, how come dinner's not ready? <laughs> never <laughs> once, okay, not one time. But he's always at the door waiting and happy to see me with the tail wagging and saying, hey, Give me some attention, give me some love, give me some affection. And maybe occasionally his food bowl is empty, he wants food, okay? And yeah. You guys, I utilize paper plates because I'm the one who has to clean the kitchen. Well, yeah. Easy cleanup. I love paper plates. 
I love paper plates, paper cups, paper bowls. Here's the last bit of our apple mixture, guys. Almost done. It's time for the oil. I think it's ready. It's just about. It's just about ready. I could feel the heat from here. So yeah, your oil is heated up. So you got any plans to go to Las Vegas or anything like that? I don't have no plans of going to Las Vegas for what, a side of COVID? <laughs> no, no, no. A side of COVID. I know that they're open, but I think they're doing things a little bit different now. You just can't wander around and go from place to place, okay? Mm, that's so, okay. Yeah, I think that's okay too. Although this is a good time of year to go when the weather starts cooling off a bit. Oh yeah, Vegas can be. Yeah, Vegas gets real hot. Very, very yeah, hot. Yeah. But this is the good time of the year to go. We actually planned on going uh, this, actually this month in October prior to, uh, you know, the COVID uh, outbreak. But, um, yeah. yeah. So, COVID no. Is just I mean, you can social distance. I mean, there's lots of activities in Vegas. But, um, you know, most people when they go to Vegas are there to party and to gamble and stuff like that. I'll occasionally gamble, but, um, no, we'll just sit this, we'll just sit this one out. Yeah. And people want to walk from place to place, so... You know, COVID has changed a whole lot of things. I'm not planning any vacations or anything this year. Not going far. Maybe going close. You know, say within six or seven hours of home is close, right? Yeah, that's pretty close. You know, you can drive there and get back. Okay. Yeah, you know, places where, you know, everything's like outdoors, like mm -hmm. hiking, camping, yeah. and we're about the to close out the camping season. Yeah. And beaches, yeah, yeah beaches, yeah. yeah. You can social distance there. Yeah, you can. Get your blanket. Your picnic basket, your food, your snack, or find something to eat on the beach. Oh, yeah. If there's any concessions if there's any open. Concessions open, yeah, because a lot of things just haven't been like they. One apple, guys. Use yeah. one, one apple. apple go makes back in four. The thing. Yeah, one apple makes four. That's pretty good. You know, and that's like for a quick breakfast snack, or you want to watch a movie, whip up your your uh, apple, your apple dumplings, apple egg rolls, whatever it is you want to call it. Pretty good. Go ahead and throw this back in a freezer bag, guys. And we're gonna put it back in the freezer. And it looks like it's easy cleanup. That's the best thing. Speaking of freezer, I got your meal prep kit in here. Oh wonderful. Let me go ahead and pull that out. Here you go. Your oh. meal prep kit. Thank you. All you have to do is oh. take that out. Drop it in your crock pot. Thank you so much. I, I say six hours choice. on low and slow, or low you can do slow. four hours on high or three, however you would like. I'm going to do six hours low and slow. Yep. And, that and what delicious. I recommend for you to do is that you take it out of your freezer the day before, put it in the refrigerator to defrost, uh -huh. and then the next morning go ahead and take it and um, dump. dump it in your crock pot. Okay. But you'll have to add some chicken broth or beef broth or extra okay. water. But I did put some broth in here. Uh -huh. But you'll still need to add a little bit oh, of chicken broth for people. Oh, of your choice. Thank you. I am going to love this. Thank you so much. That is really, like we said, some forward planning because we have long days, hectic days. You come home, you put that in the refrigerator the night before, throw it in the crock pot on your way out the door, get back, dinner's ready. I'm going to throw this back in the freezer until we get ready to uh, Until I get ready to exit. Thank you. Don't let me forget it, because I sure don't want to. I sure don't want to forget that. Okay. Let's stop it. We got water stopping. Okay, guys, we got that done. Okay, guys, I use a sock. I don't right. like to get popped when I'm cooking, guys. I would have just put them in there. And you got a long sock, too. Wow. That goes all the way up to the elbows. We're going to go with the baby one first, guys. Oh, you know what? Let me take the temperature. Let me do the temperature like my husband does. Oh, the grease has to be hot. What's the temperature? Says it's 497. That's definitely hot. Actually, ooh, I'm getting a little scared. Why don't you go ahead and drop that stuff okay. in there? Oh, I might do that.
Okay, guys, let us show you the progress. You could just take those. Oh, yeah, that's not that See, that's them. This is the last one frying. And here is our finished product. Those are, mmm, it smells delicious. Wish we had smell of vision. And first look, round, second, second round. round. Much better. We had the grease at the right temperature. Let's go ahead and sprinkle some powdered sugar on here. 